I remember the moment I realised. I was three. My best friend at the time stood up from the lunch table and went over to play. I watched her legs move and thought, OK, yeah, I can do that. And then I stared down at my legs and got really confused when nothing happened. My name's Hannah Diveny, I'm 22 years old and I have cerebral palsy. Growing up with cerebral palsy in Australia is a bit tricky, I guess, because disability isn't really something that people have accepted totally yet. I can remember being in the car on the way to daycare and her asking me why she was different to the other kids. They could get up and run around and she couldn't. So she'd be left sitting there on her own and it was very sad and very hard for her and very hard as a parent to watch your child go through that. No. What? What? Disney is a massive part of my life, especially watching the Disney princesses like Belle, Ariel, Jasmine. I saw these strong, capable young women who were going on adventures and they had friends and they were falling in love and doing all of these amazing things. And I just wanted to be like them. But there was no one who looked like me on screen. When you don't feel represented or seen as a kid, it's like it creates some sort of black hole inside you that you sort of just have to continually step around. Hannah would get upset that there was never anyone in a wheelchair in any TV show that she watched. And she got very annoyed about that. It was like, why can't they find people who are in wheelchairs? 18% of Australians live with a disability. And when you break that down, that looks like 40,000 of us that have cerebral palsy. So there's a lot of us, and it's absolutely not reflected in our screens at all. If I had seen myself represented in a Disney film and represented on screen, that would have quite literally changed my life. It would have given me a sort of blueprint, I guess, for a world that I could imagine being a part of and a world of adventure, of fun, of possibility, of wonder and magic. And I think it's really, really important that the disabled children of the future get that. Dear Disney, I'm writing you this message as a young woman who has always loved Disney films, but never seen herself in them. Creating a disabled princess would give millions of children around the world the invaluable chance to see themselves having adventures, ritual lives, and being the hero of their own stories. Beyond that, you'd also be providing a powerful reference point for non-disabled children to understand us and our lives. These days, we know more than ever but hope is the most powerful thing we have. Children with disabilities don't have that place of fantastical hopes and dreams. We've never seen the possibilities of our lives represented for us and the world. Dear Disney, you have the chance to give us that magic. Hannah. Gosh, I hope Disney listens. What an mm. in incredible offer for them mm. to take on board and run with. Hannah is an absolute powerhouse. It is a no-brainer and something that I think Disney should definitely do. Hopefully they're watching tonight. Well, we and the drawings about... are even done for them. <laughs> yes, I know. Beautiful. Yeah. We've learned a lot about visibility, but Disney is yeah. so Very powerful. Well. I mean, yeah. to get into the kids... Absolutely. And Hannah has petitioned. Uh, her petition has garnered 45,000 signatures so far. She wants 50, so get on board, show your support. You can find a link to the petition on our website. She'll get to 50 